To download the Notion connector, head over to the Querion website. After you're here, go over to the Power BI tab and click on Notion connector. After you get here, scroll down to the pricing options. Click on download or contact us. To download, submit your information. After submitting your information, hit submit and a download should start. Click on the installer in your bottom left corner. You should have a window that pops up like this. Keep the original destination folder and hit install. Hit close. After successfully installing the Notion connector by Querion, we can now prepare our Notion data. This is some dummy data I've created that has things like names, gender, and services. To prepare this page, we need to head over to the Notion integrations page. You can do this by going to www.notion.so slash myintegrations or by clicking the link in the description. You will be presented with a page that looks like this. Click on create new integration and give it any name you would like. After that, associate it with the workplace that you are deciding. I'm going to be choosing the one that has the dummy data. After that, hit submit. After we are done with that, we can head back over to the Notion page that has our data. After we're back, all we have to do is hit share, invite, and click on the integration name that we just created. And then hit invite. After you've successfully installed the Notion connector and prepared your Notion page, you can open up Power BI. We will have to edit a setting for it to fully work. If you go to File, Options and Settings, Options, after that go to Security, scroll down to Data Extensions and make sure allow any extension to load without validation or warning is ticked on. After that, hit OK. Power BI will request for you to restart. And after that, go to Get Data and type in Notion. Notion by Querion will show. After clicking on that, Notion will request an API key. We can get this by the integration that we created. If we go back over to the site, we have an internal integration token. All we have to do is copy that and paste it into where it's asking. Then hit connect. After that, you can see that our client has shown up with the data fields that we had. If everything looks good, we can select it. If we want to transform any data, there's an option for that, but we are just going to be loading it in for right now. After it's loaded, we'll have a field here. After using the Notion connector by Querion, we are able to create visuals such as this, visualizing what we see on our Notion page. You can see here we have sorted by gender, what clients have paid, and how much a client is paying. We're able to click on these and they're all changed dynamically. We are even able to go back to the Notion page and edit things. So let's say Susan has paid, Lewis has paid, and we have updated the price to this up to 500. If we go back to our data, go back to our field, right click and refresh data, we can see this data dynamically change. So we can have multiple people working on one Notion page to it all lead to one dashboard. 